everybody you see on the surface of the earth today is managing a situation. I want to plead with you. Don't ever allow any man make you feel like your situation is the worst in life. There is this story of a woman who had a challenge, you know. She was discharging blood in her body, you know. I mean, every day, blood was flowing from her body for 12 years. And, and so she was carrying the problem <laughs> graciously, royally. She was moving from one physician to another, from one doctor to another doctor, from one friend, they would recommend this pastor, they would call this one. You know, just, just like somebody listening to this, you've gone everywhere you know, for this problem, but nothing is getting solved. They cheated this woman. They collected everything this woman had. They used her situation to build their own lives. They, they, they mocked this woman. Nobody in the community could not even, would, would even know her name. They, 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 the best she was called is the woman with the issue of blood. But you see, something fundamental happened in that story. This woman did not give up on herself. She made up her mind that she was not going to die with the issue of blood. <laughs> there is a difference between you having an issue of blood, between you being with the issue of blood, and you living with the issue of blood. This woman made up her mind she was not going to die with the issue of blood. She was not going to live with the issue of blood. I don't know what one problem you were grappling with in your life. Over the years, this problem, instead of reducing, is increasing. I don't know what one challenge you've been facing in your life. And it's looking like the world is mocking you with it. You are the, you are the one they are talking about everywhere. Your story is the most popular in the community. So they talk about you, they talk about what you're going through. If I identify you with your issue of blood, this issue of blood has a solution. Oh, because that woman made up her mind that nothing will stop her until she gets the solution to the problem. What they were taking away from her did not matter. They wrecked this woman. They collected everything she had. Like they collected all the things you had. They've collected the house. They've collected the car. They've collected the money. They've collected the relationship. They've collected all the friends you have. They've collected because of this one problem. Then you see, you must carry the problem to the last point. That is an expiry date for what you're going through. Don't allow anybody to talk you into believing that your situation is the worst. Carry this problem like a celebrity. I love this woman. I love this woman. You know, she, she, with all the things they've done to her, it was enough for him, for her to just shut herself up in the room and say, you know what, I surrender. I don't want to try again. I'm just waiting for death to come. Mm, she didn't. For 12 years, she kept carrying it. She kept carrying it. And one day, boom, that's an information. The man, the healer, the guy who, has, who had touched so many lives was in town. Really? She jumped on her feet. She rushed out. Say, what are you talking about? Who is this man? Today, Today is going to be the day. The, 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 the faith was so strong in her. I have, I have, I have an idea that the, the, the determination, the spirit, the lion in the inside of this woman grew, just woke up and said, today we are finding solution to this. Today is the last day I'm carrying this issue. And so she kept moving. But you know what? Because nobody even told her in time. They, they, they forgot in her where she was. Nobody called her to say, look, a solution is in town. 
he got there late. The crowd was already big. How was she going to get to the man? How was she going to get to see this man? Then you know what she told herself? I will do whatever I'm going to do. <laughs> because today we must find solution to this. Your spirit, your faith this year must be so riotous. Must be so radical. Must be so intense that you will not allow anybody to stop you from getting to that solution. Because the solution to your problem is somewhere. The, the thing is that you just don't know where he is, where that solution is. This woman didn't know where the solution was. And that's why she kept moving from one point to another. She kept going from house to another. She kept going from one pastor to another pastor to mom from mom to another imam. She kept pushing. She told herself, I will not live and die with this. Death may come on the way, but that death will catch me trying <laughs> your business has not been doing so well in life you have done so many businesses but they are not working you touch this one it fails you touch this one it fails you see what the what the life is planning against you what the people who are pushing you down uh, that, that trade, is to get you fed up is to make you get to the point where you don't want to try anything again where you don't want to push again where you don't want to even use anything in your inside again but no it's a lie because that thing you're carrying that, that problem that's a solution there is a business out there that you will do that will set you free forever there is something you're going to touch somehow that will create a new system a new day a new life for you if you don't give up at this point don't die with your issue of blood but they say they say it's so bad your situation is so terrible yes it's so terrible but i will move i will keep going i'll keep pushing i'll keep running i'll keep crawling i'll keep trekking until i find solution today you must find solution to that problem the problem is you did go to school and you, 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 you want to sleep at night, you don't feel well about it. Now you can push it, you can solve it. There is a solution somewhere. Get up, go look for it. Go look for it. You know, the way the, way the woman carried herself was, let me, let me, I dare all of you, I dare you to stop me. <laughs> bully your bullies. Don't allow them to bully you to submission. Don't allow them to make you feel you cannot become anything again. Don't allow them to make you feel like a rag in the system. Fight for a spot. That's what that woman did. She was not surrendering to anybody. She was not giving up on herself. She was not making, she was not giving anybody the last voice. You got the last voice. Use it. Yes. You must use the voice. You must use the strength in you. Keep pushing. And she pushed, she pushed, she pushed until she got to the master. You, you can imagine how many people were just, you know, where are you going, idiot? What's even wrong with, with her? But you know what? Something helped the woman. She was smelling. The problem was so much that she was, she was, she was really, 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 really oozing out stench. You know, the smell was so much. So people were idiots. Let that hold you know. So, so they were going. Your problem is so terrible. Your problem is so big right now that they were they were actually running away from you. They were parting the ways for you. Please seize the opportunity. Seize the seize this is that time. Seize that moment that all friends are running away from you. That is the time to get the solution. It's supposed to tell you that you are going somewhere. Once you identify it and you are moving and nobody is trusting, nobody is believing it's it's workable everybody it's you know everybody is dodging you everybody is running away from you yeah you are very close to the solution you are close to the solution keep moving keep pushing keep keep going keep going because we're going to get to that point where the solution is you know this woman was not looking for the frame she was not looking for the man. She didn't want to hold the man. She didn't want to kiss him. She didn't want to even talk to him. She, the, the faith was so strong that all I need is just a touch. Oh, sure. All you need 
is just a touch. You don't need the bigness in the business. You don't need the big thing in the relationship. You don't need the big people in town to become anything. All you need is just a tip of the garment. Just a tip of the garment was what the woman was pushing for. That's where she was going. And she kept moving. I'm begging you in the name of God. Don't allow anybody to stop you in this race. Don't allow anybody to make you feel inferior in life. Don't allow anybody to make you feel your situation is so bad that it can never be solved again. That solution is somewhere. Get up again. They've cheated in business several, severally. They've taken away everything you had. It, it's irrelevant. Get up again. Go and try again. Go push it again. There is something out there that can work. If only you can make up your mind and say, look, you people can be having the big things. All I need is just this small. It's just this one. Do not live with your issue of blood. You can be with the issue of blood. That woman was with the issue of blood. But she refused to live with the issue of blood. You see, the people who are stopping you right now, your bullies, the people who are talking down on you, the people who are ganging up against you, the people who are stealing from you, do I, don't actually know that they are living with the issue of blood. People who live with the issue of blood are terrible people. Terrible people, wicked people, they take what, what does not belong to them. They cheat people without shame. They, they take your thing. They come to borrow, borrow money from you. They run away with it. They won't even talk about it again. They pretend as if nothing happened. No, they, they, they ask you for favor. You hurt them, they will come to stab you at the back. They don't feel bad about it. They are living with the issue of blood. I love this woman, Ty. She, she, she didn't spend too much time pursuing people living with the issue of blood. Each time they cheated her, she carried her issue of blood and moved to the next one. The next one will cheat her, no problem. She moved to the next one. Stop wasting time with people living with the issue of blood. Stop wasting time fighting unnecessary battles. The woman did not go to court to sue any doctor. She didn't go to court to, to she didn't call area boys to go and fight some, some pastors who collected money and they could not do anything. She, she did not spend too much time fighting unnecessarily. She spent all her time looking for the solution. I don't know what is missing in your life. I don't know what one challenge you are carrying right now. It makes you cry to bed and you wake up with tears. The solution is out there. Look less on the people, on those who are living with the issue of blood. They pretend like all, everything is correct in their lives. When you see them, they look rich on the outside. But deep in the inside, the issue of blood is raging. The problem is increasing every day. They will not accept that fact. But you, please accept your fact. Accept your problems. Don't, don't get so ashamed with the situation that you don't want to try again. Talk, talk out. Talk to somebody. Keep looking for the solution. Life has been made easier right now. Google the problem. Ask questions. What can I do? Where can I go? Don't allow them to bottle you up in the inside. Don't allow them to lock you up in your room. Go out for seminars. Go and look for groups to join. Look for new friends to make. If they despise you so much, if you are smelling so much, move. Keep moving. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go and look for them. Don't die on that job. If the job is not solving your life problems, if the job is, is looking like it's an issue of blood, you can kick it out. You can kick it out and try something new. Go out there. Look for help. Don't stay with the issue of blood. The woman refused to live with the issue of blood. You see people living with the issue of blood, they want you to be like them always.
All this ganging up, all this, you know, lying against you, formulating different kinds of stories about you, making you look bad such that people will run away from you. It's all meant to silence you. It's all meant to bully you to submission. It's all meant to make you feel, feel so filthy, like a rag. So when you wake up in the morning, you want to go out, you are looking left, right. Who is looking at me? Who is talking about me? What is your business about? Who is talking about you? Carry your issue of blood. It's, it's an issue of blood. You are with it. You are not living with it. Carry your issue of blood. Move, move. Keep pushing. Keep pushing it. Rub it on their faces. Let them know that, Paul, you know, you, 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 th you think I'm going to sleep back at home? No, 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 no. I'm going to try again. So when I try and it fails and I don't get anything out of it, watch out for me. I'm bouncing back. I'm coming back. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to push it again because you are not strong enough to stop me. That's what that woman was saying to all of them. You're not strong enough to stop me. You know, all of them, all of those big boys, the big pastors, the big reverends, the, you know, the, 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 the millionaires in, in the society, they were around the healer they were around the man they, they, they were so close to the man they were so close to the man who had the solution to everybody's problems yet they didn't know their own problems were with them they didn't solve it <laughs> they, 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 there was reverend peter in that in that crowd he didn't solve his problem. There were there were Bishop Bishop Judas in that crowd. He, he didn't he didn't find solution to his problem. So they, many of them like that, they had their challenges, they had their problems. Yeah, they didn't know that this master I'm so close to, this master I'm talking to every day has the capacity to solve this problem. One woman came from nowhere and she got a healing. Oh somebody will come from somewhere somehow and will take the same business you are toying with the same job you are, you are, you are playing around with and will become something big in his hands because you have not identified what this man carries what does this job carry what does this business carry what does this relationship carry what 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 is in this house i'm living in right now you know so you need to find everything around you of what you use that woman knew that this man is going to solve my problems if only i can touch the tip of his garment you see the people who are living with the issue of blood are the ones that are mocking you most. They are the ones that are laughing at you. They are the ones that are talking down on you. They are the ones that are forming groups against you. They are the ones that are barricading, fencing you, thinking that you see, nothing is going to work in your life. So when you call them, when they come to work for you, they want to wreck you. They want to take the things in your business and run away, thinking that it, you know, you're, go you're going to fall flat. You won't trust anybody again. It's a lie. You're going to trust people again. You will employ more people. You allow them to keep stealing from you. Because the more they steal, the more issue of blood they are taking away from you. That's, that's one fundamental thing they didn't actually recognize. That woman, before she got to touch the garment, before she got to see, to get close to the man, most of the issue of blood had gone, had disappeared. But she did just know because the people who were stealing from her, the people who were using her, were only busy taking a bit, just in the portion of the issue of blood. They were just they were taking the portion of the issue of blood from her. They didn't know. So come, come, come and steal from me some more. Come and take the things that, <laughs> that does not belong to you around me. Come and take it because you're taking away my issue of blood. And I think this woman recognized it. She she just she just she was just like because that's why she was not fighting everybody. Take, 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 you know. She she was broke. No problem. Let's go. And, you know, she was still going. Stop wasting time dragging anything with the people living with issue of blood. They are so arrogant. 
They, they will never face their challenges in life. They will never accept that they are going through issues. They will never, they will never stand up to look for solution to their issue of blood. So yours must be different. Get up right now. We don't spend too much time arguing with them. Your issue of blood must be drained. It must be stopped and nothing is going to stop you until you get the final solution. Keep moving. If you are in a bad relationship, you're in a bad marriage, you're in a bad friendship, two things must change. It's either the man or the woman changes or you change. Or you change. It becomes an issue of blood in your life. You've done everything you can do. You, you can't get solution. You can't push it away. You must move. Don't die with it. Don't die with it. You deserve to be happy in life. Find your joy. Find your joy. That joy is somewhere. The thing that will set you free. The thing that will make you sing hallelujah. The thing that will make you jump up in the morning. The thing that will make you become an overnight celebrity. It's somewhere it's possible. It's hanging out there. All you need is just push. Push. Talk some more. Write some more. Go, go, go and try something new. Because it can happen. The people with the issue of blood, they are so condescending. They, they are so they, they, they can so look down on people. They, they, will, they will look at your situation and they, they talk like they are gods. If you meet any man and it's and he's saying, I will deal with you, I will show you who I am, I will I will destroy you, I will sack you. I will it's a that's a man living with issue of blood right there. Don't wait for them to make to kill you with your issue of blood. Don't die. Don't allow them to kill you, to, to make you die with your issue of blood. The moment they begin to say, I will sack you, I will kill you, I will destroy you, carry your bag. Go, take a stroll. This is your blood. <laughs> Leave them with the issue of blood. Che, che. Pack your things and disappear like a thin air. Because you don't, you, you, they don't know where you are coming from. They don't know what you have gone through in life. They don't know. They don't know for how many years you'll be carrying your issue. They wouldn't understand. And so when they meet you briefly, they want to be the Lord of your life. They want to be in charge of your destiny. And you must understand that nobody has that power to control your destiny. Nobody has been given such power. So they cannot draw the final line. They cannot make the last say in your life. So don't waste too much time. They have, you know, you want it? Anything. They say they want it. Allow them to have it. Give it to them. Take it. Go and become billionaire with it. Go with it. Don't drag. Don't drag it with them. Better days are coming. This issue of blood will be dried up. Something new will begin to happen in your life. Carry your issue of blood with some level of arrogance. <laughs> I say to people, the day you get total freedom in your life, the day you secure liberation, total freedom in your life, is the day you begin to carry your problems with some level of arrogance. You are not arrogant. You are not proud. You, you are just consumed by the fact that it's a matter of time. This problem will go away. You are just, you are, you are just full with the confidence, the, the, the assurance that one day I will not always live in this cold and suffer for nothing. One day I will not always be a cleaner. One day I will not always be a camera boy. One day I also will get to that stage. So you carry the problem with some idea there. <laughs> so, so you, so you, 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 you enjoy the problem, but you don't give up on looking for the solution. You carry the problem like, look, the day is coming. I will get out of it. Listen to me. You will not always beg before you pay your rent. You will not always beg 
<laughs> to have food in the house. You will not always beg before you can change a car. You will not always beg before you can have a decent house to live in. It's a matter of time. What you don't want in your life, kick it out. Keep looking for that solution because it's somewhere. And you see the day it's going to come. It will be like, yes, I found it. And you're going to be the thing. You're going to live the life you've always wanted to live. You're going to enjoy. Enjoy as much as you've always dreamt of. Because it's waiting for you in the tomorrow. People living with the issue of blood. Please be with the issue of blood. Don't live with the issue of blood. Don't spend, spend too much time talking about them. Don't spend too much time fighting them. Carry your issue of blood. Keep moving. The woman got a healing. She became an overnight celebrity. Everybody was beginning to wonder. In fact, when, when they announced that, look, who touched me? Who got, who, I, I sensed that something got out of my body. All of them, they didn't still understand. They didn't know that they, there was a magical moment. Just like this year is a magical year for you. This year is the year something bigger than you would happen. This year is the year something massive. Things that you, they have never experienced in your family lineage before will happen to you. It's yeah, Be sensitive about it. Be sensitive. You know, all those guys were just there. So they were still wanting to laugh. I would do no. I mean, people are touching you every time. People, you see, the, the, the touch, the touch this woman came with was so, so radical. This year be radical. Be, be angry in your spirit. Go out there and fight like a wounded lion. Stop. Living with your issue of blood because the solution is here now. Take advantage of it. We, we started a new project in our squad, you know, Poverty Fighter Squad. We started a new project that will help you to fight poverty, that will, that will help you to push out the issue of blood from your life, no matter what it is you are facing. You see, the woman with the issue of blood did just know where the solution was. Just like many of us out there. You don't just know where the solution is, but you believe the solution will be somewhere. So you keep moving from one point to another, from one man to another man, from one woman to another woman, because you're just looking for the solution. You don't know where it is. It's just a connection. So we call this project the, the Global Matchmaker. What we do is to connect people to people. Life is about people. Life is about people. People disappointed the woman with the issue of blood. They cheated her. It's somebody who still helped her. So it does not matter how many times they've cheated you. It's somebody who will still help you. So you need to trust again. You need to try again. So this platform, this website will actually help you to find things. So you want to sell anything, put it there. You want to buy, you find some somebody to sell to you, you know. And the the most beautiful aspect of it is that we pay you to join that team, to join that site. You know, once you register on that site, we we'll give you something so that you can actually start pushing out issue of blood. You know, anything, anything in life, have a job. You know, you're looking for who to recruit, you're looking for jobs to do, you're looking for uh, the friends, you're looking for anything you're looking for, cars to buy, house to sell. You know, that's what that site is all about. Just match make those who have and those who are looking for, you know, so we put them together and everybody can enjoy life. You see, we are all created to solve problems. And the essence of bully, your bully series, is to create life for people, to make life easier for people, to solve life's problems, to suck issue of blood. Don't waste this opportunity. I'd like to see you once again. The, 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 you can, if you have any question, any challenge you want us to talk about, the, there is a phone number at the end of this broadcast. You know, you can, you know, you, you can always communicate and how to register on the site. www. 
globalmatchmaker.net globalmatchmaker.net so you know go there right now and uh, let's talk some more about what you're doing and um, where you're pushing to do not live with the people living with the issue of blood keep pushing you'll get there god bless you